Hey, thanks for finding us here on YouTube. I'm meteorologist John Dawson. This is the Fox 26 tropical update kind of bring you up to speed on things as we've rolled out of the long holiday weekend. I hope you had a great 4th of July and now we can kind of focus in on what's happening across the tropics. Unfortunately, things overall are pretty quiet, but if you blinked over this three day weekend, you might have missed a named storm that was in the US on the continental US and as a matter of fact, it was very unusual that it even maintained its tropical characteristics while mostly being over land more than it was actually over water, but it was a short lifespan though. So this is going to be tropical storm Colin at its maximum and it's going to last for about 24 hours. So around 4 a.m. on Saturday to around 4 a.m. on Sunday is the lifespan of what we're talking about here. Uh, although beginning on Friday uh, or even in the Thursday, uh, it was sort of beginning to catch the interest of the National Hurricane Center. So that's why we got it backed up here officially there to June 30. So as we kind of roll through things as it was just sort of right off of the coast of Charleston and then again, the center of it was actually over the Carolinas for most of its life that you're going to see here, but becoming a tropical storm on July 2nd at around 2 a.m. in the morning and then staying as sort of just around that shoreline as it moved through for about 24 hours and then falling apart a little bit. So that was a short lived, uh, quick named storm that was uh, making a landfall. I guess you would call it a landfall. It didn't even really stay out over the waters for very long uh, across the, the, the Carolinas there on the uh, eastern side of the U.S. So that'll be one more name that we're are sort of done with at the moment. Still looking at some rain across that area from some sort of associated with some of the remnants of that, not directly necessarily, but to some degree you could kind of point to that, I think, as far as what was left over kind of hanging around a little bit. Bigger picture across the Atlantic, the National Hurricane Center is saying no tropical formation is expected over the next five days. That's what we like to hear. That's kind of our favorite statement. A couple of tropical waves out in the Atlantic and uh, otherwise pretty quiet in the Caribbean as well as the Gulf of Mexico. Now where the activity is still happening is going to be what's going on in the Pacific uh, where we still have Bonnie. And if you'll remember, Bonnie was that storm that was potential tropical cyclone two and it crossed the Caribbean in the very southern portions of the Caribbean right before making a landfall in Nicaragua. It really hammered Nicaragua as well as Puerto Rico, bringing quite a bit of rain. Uh, then as it kind of moved on uh, across, uh, it maintained its characteristics and made it into the Pacific. And that's where we're finding it now as a hurricane. As of Monday, it made it to hurricane strength. Currently a category two hurricane as of 4 p.m. Monday, 100 mile an hour winds, and it looks like it's going to maintain that strength, at least a category two hurricane. The good news is that it is making its way sort of at least parallel and eventually away from this Mexican coastline. So maybe a little bit of rain gets sort of spun off onto there, but the dangerous, powerful winds along with that potential for some storm surge. That's all going to stay away uh, as it continues to move. And as I mentioned, we're going to have Bonnie around for a while. This is one of those rare crossover storms where it started in the Atlantic, now in the Pacific. If you look at the list of names for the Pacific this year, Bonnie's not on there. It's part of the Atlantic naming system, um, but it'll stay active uh, for several more days, even maintaining that strength of a category two hurricane. It looks like for at least about two to three days. So we'll be talking about Bonnie again. It's supposed to be over here in the Atlantic, but it crossed over. Just wanted to show you these names one more time because we've got Bonnie and Colin check those off over the weekend. And now Danielle is the next one that's going to be on the list for the Atlantic uh, at the D named storm. So hopefully it'll be a little while before we get there. And as 
I've mentioned the National Hurricane Center not expecting anything to develop over the next five days. Hey, why don't you do me a favor? I'm, I'm needing a few more folks to follow me on Instagram. Would you be interested in joining me and connecting and having discussions about hurricane preparedness on Instagram? I'm at John Dawson Fox 26. So if you get a chance, pick up that smartphone and punch in. Go to Instagram, punch in at John Dawson Fox 26. I'd love to connect with you. I've got a lot of hurricane preparedness sort of content that's kind of mixed in there. And then for those of you that might be into backyard gardening, vegetable gardening for me at least, uh, it, it's great to kind of connect uh, when we run into some problems or we have some small victories or some difficulties. It's really a great community to kind of connect with. So I'm inviting you if you're into backyard gardening or if you're into hurricane preparedness, which I hope you are, some ideas and things. Uh, it would be great if you wanted to connect with me on Instagram. Again, I'm at John Dawson Fox 26. Don't forget as well the Fox 26 weather app. Get that on your phone. It's a free download. Go to your favorite app store.